For Alison Gavin, a teacher who has diabetes, a life on benefits was never something she wanted. But when her worsening symptoms triggered depression, she found herself unable to work. Despite that, she was refused benefits, failing a work capability assessment. I spent a lot of time you know, being housebound and having my partner even to chop vegetables for me, for example, because it's just too painful to hold the knife. Even though I was too ill really to get out of bed, I just about managed to answer the door. Um, yeah, the assessor decided that I was capable enough. Shortcomings in the system prompted huge protests in the last parliament, but ministers claim they've largely been ironed out and further reform to fine-tune how people are assessed will help. Currently, two and a half million people claim employment support allowance at a cost of £13 billion. That's expected to rise to £14 billion next year. Claimants undergo a work capability assessment to decide whether they're fit. If not, they're signed off. The new system would be more flexible, with benefits tailored to individual needs, so more people could continue to work. But isn't this all about getting the books to balance? I have, for the last three to four years, believed there were some fundamental problems with it, and we've wanted to change that. We weren't able to do it in the coalition. I'm now doing it because this is the right time to do it. But was the fundamental problem that you were spending too much money on it? No, the fundamental problem is it doesn't work. But what we're seeing from this government is a pretty crude attempt to play politics with the lives of vulnerable people. And many people will feel great anxiety on hearing this uh, announcement today without having the real, uh, the real details. Charities support the idea of a more flexible system for people such as Alison. But they're sceptical ministers really know how to make it work.